Can you make gains working out only 15 minutes a day? Watch this. Our next caller is Sebastian from Nova Scotia. Sebastian, what's happening, man? How can we help you? Not much. How are you guys? I'm doing Good. great. What a cute baby. Yes. <laughs> I tried to make her happy sitting down, but she wants to be part of this. So. Uh, no problem. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, first of all, I want to say congrats to you, Sal, on uh, Delilah. Thank She's you. Uh, absolutely beautiful. It's and, dollar, uh, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've been following you guys for quite some time and uh, really appreciate what you do. So thank you for that. Thank you. And the last time I was uh, asking you a question, you guys uh, hooked me up with MAPS 15 and I've been doing the advanced program and I, I'm i here to ask some questions about it. Okay. So in phase two, I noticed there's no shoulder exercises and uh, that's kind of uh, one of the parts of my body that I like to stay consistent on because, uh, I don't know, I guess I'm self-conscious, but I want to grow my shoulders. So I just like to do a bit of a focus on it. So there's something I could add into phase two to keep my shoulders kind of stimulated or I know there you have the uh, reverse flies or whatever yeah. in there. Uh, so is that enough? Or? So it is. Well, so it, it is if you consider the first phase and the third phase. So and also you, that you're doing compound lifts like yeah. rows and. Well, bench I was just going to say. So maps fifteen is not a bot. Although you're working out body parts, right? You are training body parts. Not a body sculpt. It's program. not a body part program. It's a movement program. So without getting too deep in the weeds here, you can generally. This is very general. Okay, so very very general breakdown. I'm going to give you, but you could generally look at workout programs strength training workout programs as either body part focused or movement focused. So to give you kind of two extreme examples, power lifting routine, movement focused. Okay. Bodybuilding routine, body part focused. Both of them have value. Both of them have a lot of value. Now, when we're considering writing a program where you're only going to work out 20 minutes a day, you're, you're, you're going to get much more value focusing on movements then you are going to be focusing on just body parts. Otherwise, what it would look like a 20 minute a day or 15 minute a day body part focus workout would look like a single body part a day, uh, you know, for like two exercises. So it'd be this really weird body part split routine. You wouldn't get enough volume or frequency. It just wouldn't give you much for the time being spent in the gym or in your garage or whatever. But MAPS 15, we knew, okay, we got limited amount of time. We need to maximize the person's results. And in that context, movement focused is more valuable. The, focusing on movements is going to give you better results. So in phase two, you do do the rear flies, but you are doing horizontal presses, like you know bench presses, whatever. So you're and then phase one and phase three incorporates mm -hmm. more. You know, if if you want to look at it from a body part perspective, uh, you know, shoulder direct shoulder work. But as you go through the program, you'll see. I mean, it just it does train the, the, the whole body uh, is what you're focusing on. Now that being said, okay. There, here, this is also where there's room for modification and in, in adding to or taking away from some of our programs. So, to Sal's point, if we were to, if we had only 20 minutes, this is how we would comprise these exercises. This gives everybody the biggest bang for their buck, right? For overall body sculpting, overall strength yeah. building, systemic good, effect of yeah. all muscles. So, like, and if I only had that much time, I would follow it to a T. Now, let's say you have days where you can be in there for thirty minutes, or yeah. you have some a, a, a little ten minute window some other time in the day, like, and and you really you have an, an area like your shoulders that you want to put extra energy towards. That's how I would do it. I'd say, hey, when you got an extra five ten minutes later on in the day. Go get some shoulder presses or some lateral raises. That's it. Or if you know you got you know, that day instead of only twenty minutes, you got thirty to forty minutes. Add some shoulder presses into the workout because you have something very specific that you you want to focus on while doing this. I would incorporate them like that. But if you only had fifteen to twenty minutes, I would follow the program as laid out because I think it's the biggest bang for the buck. But that doesn't mean that I couldn't find ways to modify it for somebody who has a very specific goal, like you're saying. Yeah. Sebastian, we lost your okay. camera there for a second. Yeah, my my video just uh, died on me. Won't start back up, but I, I'm I'm still here. <laughs> okay. No. So you heard everything, yeah? 
Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. Okay, so does that make sense? I mean, so you can totally modify that um, how you feel best as far as adding some more shoulder work in there if you feel like they're not getting enough tension. So, but, and by the way, uh, this is something for me too. So like shoulders are an area I like to focus on. I notice when my shoulder shoulders are developed, it just makes my, my, my entire upper body look better to me. And because I tend to be aesthetic driven, I care about that. So even when I run through our MAPS 20 protocol, I might add more shoulder stuff into it. But mm -hmm. that also extends the program sometimes longer than 20 minutes. And the goal for us was keeping it down to that 15 to 20 minutes. Therefore, certain things we, we would have to sacrifice and a basic lateral raise is going to get sacrificed when I only have a certain amount of time with a, with a client. Okay. So you, you do have a, a dumbbell presses there on two of the days. So if I substituted uh, overhead presses instead of the bench, yeah, you're fine. Like dumbbell bench press, that. that's, that's yeah. cool. Totally yep. fine. Do them standing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and then uh, other questions with that, uh, there are only three week phases. Would there be a benefit to extending those phases? Because I really like the program. Like uh, I work shift work and I have four kids. So it's just awesome being able to duck out into the garage 20 minutes, bang out a workout and back to just cycle through life, it. right? Yeah. You cycle through it, phase mm -hmm. one, phase two, three, phase three, or, back to phase one, or, or add a week. Or add a one. week. Yeah. Either one's fine. Yep. You can add. You could add a week into there. You just want to be careful. Like so, I mean, most of the research is what three to six weeks is where yeah. the optimal time is. We lean towards the three, just so you're you're constantly kind of changing and moving through that. If you let, if you did four or five, I think you would be fine. Mm -hmm. So um, you could extend you could extend the yeah. the phases or do what Sal said, which Sal said, which is run through it and then just run through it again. You'd That's be okay. how I would do it. Yeah. Either one. Okay. And it is, is there a, like, I'd like to do maps for performance. That's I, I bought it. I'm kind of would like to do it. Is there any way to do that? Uh, being a shift worker and not having like what I do is one week I work two days and then the other work, the other week I work four or five days. So is there a way to do one week, do like the functional workouts and then next week focus on mo mobility and just, alternate like that without that work? Or yeah. I mean, you could do, you, you could definitely, and this is when, you know, individual lifestyle and variance makes a big difference. You could definitely work out more when you can and work out less when you can't. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that, especially if you have some experience training your body and you know how to do that without really compromising the programming. So you can definitely do that. Mm -hmm. All right, that that all uh, makes sense. So, all right, I think that's all the questions no I had for you guys. I gl I'm glad you're you're enjoying Maps uh, 15, though. A lot of people don't realize. Oh man, just uh, how absolutely! Like I was worried about it because I was going from you know working out three times a week, hour workouts, and then going to that. It's daily, but the wife's happy with it. She doesn't mind me ducking out for 15, 20 minutes to the garage. So it's just it's so convenient, and the results are really good as well like i feel like i'm kind of doing a bulk right now and i feel like i'm filling out my shirts a little better and oh yeah, yeah i absolutely love it so thank you so much it for works man. awesome awesome yeah. thank you sebastian thank you. thanks for calling in thank you you got it yeah uh i mean that's that's how we all felt when we did <laughs> when we were experimenting with the program like uh, i didn't expect to make strength gains uh, yeah you, know, you just felt little. like it was a pure sacrifice but uh when you start getting into it it's actually one of those things that blows your mind like more energy and a lot of times you get uh those results that you weren't getting it does and again you know um and this is important for people to understand when you're doing a movement focused workout the focus of the workout is on the movement not necessarily feeling the body parts and the muscles and Mm -hmm. squeeze and pump and all that stuff versus body part focused workouts where you're not really necessarily concerned with the movement aside from good form. You're trying to feel the target muscles. Right. Both have value. They both, both have value. Beneficial. You That's know, it. You no, want to run a cycle of both. I'm glad we got this question because I'm sure there's people that have purchased the program that were probably wondering the, the same question. And it's just like, listen, I, if someone came to me and said, "Hey, Adam, I have a bodybuilding competition next or in a few months. What program should I run?" I would, regardless of their time, I wouldn't say Math Fifteen is the ideal program for them. But if someone said, "I only have fifteen to twenty minutes, how do I get the biggest bang for my mm -hmm. buck?" 
that's the program. That's it. And and you're not going to see certain exercises in there because they take up time and don't give us as much return as other ones. And so we had to make that uh, that decision as we are programming, like, hey, sure, I would selfishly, because I like shoulder work, love to throw this in here, but then I'm I'm missing out on a row. Oh, man, we got to put a row in right, right there. Or, oh, hey, we should. I would love to do these because these, I love these exercises, a hamstring curl, but oh, my God, then, then we then we sacrifice a, a barbell back squat? Of course not. We're not going to, you know what I'm saying? So those decisions have to be made. You're going to have to sacrifice certain movements if we're limited to time. And that was written to give you the biggest bang for your buck in the shortest amount of time. 